Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of I Have Notes, a show where we talk all things creative, animation, and uh, let me check my notes here. Uh, do you allow happiness? Uh, <laughs> find out more uh, in a little bit. Uh, my name is Carrie Shawcross, and with me, I have, as always, uh, amazing co host. Hi, I'm Issa Mariola. <laughs> I always have to laugh at the last funny thing, it's just in my character. <laughs> Uh, and with us today, we have our wonderful Aaron Wynn. Aaron. Howdy, howdy. Aaron. And then another another member of our J team, Joshua Ornelis. Whoa. Hello. Nice. <gasps> Josh Whoa. Ornelis. Nice to so, meet So philosophical. <laughs> what an intro. Oh, I just. I think I we're going to have to start you. over. <laughs> we can't, Roll it back. We can't compare. Sorry, was that too prepared? Better. Was that too prepared? <laughs> no, that was very amazing. I was just trying oh. the whole time. I'm just like, uh, uh, et tu, doom guy. Like, what? <laughs> I just need. I need something fancy. Uh, my uh. first thought was, oh, Josh, <laughs> once oh. again. <laughs> my oh, heart that's went doki doki. Hey, uh, <laughs> uh, really nerdy question though. Is that like? Was that from one of the the collector's editions, or where'd you get that? That is from the Doom Eternal Collector's Edition. Oh, it's super nice. Ooh. Fancy. It lights wow. up. Can you hear it? It lights I... up? You can? Whoa. Oh, He's going to do it. <gasps> oh, both. Both. He, oh. he is the Doom okay. guy. Okay. I am. Oh, for I'm our audio impressed. listeners, oh. he's turning. Oh, he's and... turned, put on the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, That's uh, kind of the I best thing best. ever. Yeah. That was I was I was not expecting as quick as payoff if I got that was amazing. <laughs> Performance art. Congrats. Sorry to audio listeners. Uh, it was really cool. I mean, really cool. Uh, I mean, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that cool. Uh, please also keep keep listening. Uh, hey everybody, how how's it going? How's uh how's your week been? We had kind of like a a super duper cool thing happen this Monday. Oh. Oh, if, yes, if we want to, you're yeah. talking about me. Yes. Oh no, I washed my car finally. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I didn't even fucking do that. No, talk about recording my R's all. Yay! Yay! My show it's premiered here, for baby. first members. Ah, yells Yay. internally. Yay! <laughs> oh, how do they? How how do they say it in Japan? You have uh, please scream from your heart. Oh yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> Did y'all see there that? Is, so oh, there's man. this like roller coaster in a theme park in Japan, and they're like, "Please don't yell on roller coasters because it might spread COVID." Oh, uh, okay. So please scream <laughs> from in please your scream in, in your heart, and it's like, oh, that's that's a that's a mood for 2020. <laughs> yeah, it's like it summarizes everything. It's like yeah, okay, yeah. put those signs up in Disney World because <laughs> apparently those aren't happening there. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, feel like I, oh, I feel like I do that on a daily basis. Just scream from my heart. Like I have to talk to people and just like have a straight face. So I'm just sitting there like, yes, sir. I, I do agree. And, and meanwhile, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I have definitely, uh, it doesn't happen often. And, uh, I, uh, you know, I won't, I will talk about who it is. It, it, let's just say it was an external thing. But uh, I've definitely been, at least been on one call where like I just like I, I was like oh hang on one second sorry and like turned off my video and audio and just like <laughs> held my head. That's like you can't oh. do that in normal meetings. You can't just be like you can't what. So now I can just be like uh oh oh my thing oh sorry hang on my cat came in let me just <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's kind of it's like one of the few upsides. Uh, yes, you are one hundred percent correct. <laughs> Yeah, Isa, I'm super, I'm super excited. How, hey. how have you enjoyed the response? Do I? Well, Carrie, fun, fun, uh, fun segue. Not really, but it, fun hit into the "Do you allow happiness?" question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. It's um. I think the small moments that I'm kind of like, I just need a mental break. <laughs> For some reason, that's what I go into the comments and I read. Yeah. Um, but also there's a lot of engagement, which is really positive. And Yay. I'm really, I'm really happy. It's, am I, uh, wait, question mark? <laughs> exactly. I'm, I'm so conflicted, guys. Being a creator is very, it's a, it's an interesting road, uh, to put, to say the least, but also, I am more than ever more uh, the thing that is 
oh god where it's 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 been a day guys um i can hit the nut the, button if you need <laughs> thank you the thing that is more than my happiness in regards to the show reception is uh actually just more of an appreciation and a gratefulness for people who um and the amount of people who came out to like show support for the show because they were interested uh from when they first heard about it and so that was really that was really nice um thank you guys for watching if you watch i have notes and you've watched recorded by artists so thank you thank you double thank you double thank, thank you thank we you we appreciate it yeah much appreciate <laughs> i i mean everything i've seen so far has been like super overwhelming overwhelmingly yeah. positive i mean like yeah. people seem to to really dig it so i'm i'm super happy for you we've Thanks, already seen Kay. some cute fan art I love oh yeah do, oh. do we uh Speaking do we have that art, there it is oh, Recorded. Nice. <laughs> this is uh our good boy avery oh Fa family friend of the show family friend yeah family friend <laughs> Um, oh man can, Avery, can you just Avery, imagine her do that music yes, yeah i can't actually <laughs> just can you imagine um uh titanic just <laughs> bringing <laughs> through your ears? Yeah. is it is it too late to add in her playing the recorder in episode four <laughs> <laughs> the way i'm looking at it we have two and a half weeks we, you're right you're not you're not wrong you're like <laughs> a bonus in credit scene yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's just be clear. It won't be good. <laughs> <laughs> no one has ever played the recorder well. Well. Yeah. Does anyone even own a recorder over uh, the age of 21? I think my Does understanding... Own it over the age of, like, 10? <laughs> I, my understanding is that if you play the recorder outside of middle school, it is illegal. <laughs> that is... The way that I uh, am aware of things. Josh, do you I, have a recorder? I had one in my cart just now as a joke to order it, but after Carrie said that, I'm going to remove <laughs> it. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's just like there's just like an Amazon employee, like the second you buy it, just like we got him. All right. Yeah. All right. We'll meet you there. It's, I don't know. I just like it always is like that was the like when I was in middle school, you had to pick between like band, orchestra, or choir. Yeah. And then I think part of choir was like playing the recorder oh, or something. Cool. It was just like, that was it. Like, it was just like, maybe I, I have a, a gap in my, you know, I don't know if we have any professional recorder players <laughs> that listen. Uh, if we Google do, after this. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just I always I always assumed it was like a a, a starter instrument. Oh yeah, definitely. Maybe. Like I think you for know, my like a... school it was like elementary school and then like once you got to yeah. middle school you could do like band or strings or orchestra, we call the strings. I was playing violin in, in elementary school. Hell yeah, me too, man. Yeah. Whoa. Two violin bros. You had, to, you had to bring it you had to bring it to class and then all the other kids wanted to put their fucking like grubby little hands on it. Yep. And you let them. Of course I did. The, the horse hair is off the bow and shit. And yeah. The <laughs> that sounds dope. I want to play violin. I mean, hey, I, mean I still have mine. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is it yeah. child sized? Uh, I was a big boy eventually. <laughs> My first violin was uh, was a was a child child Lynn. Uh, a child Lynn. Child Lynn. <laughs> but then when I went to the middle school, I got an adult violin. An adult um, Lynn. An adult Lynn. <laughs> it's actually it was the same kind of thing, but it had like like crude crude art on it. <laughs> like that kind of adult. Mm. Yeah. It was like a, it was Yeah. It was a it was a small violin, but it had like mud flaps with like a like a, a sexy woman pose on it. Like, <laughs> that's my adult violin. <laughs> um, the, the mud flaps were to keep all of the sick beat no not beats uh six strings in i'm done now <laughs> thank I'm you i'm done i'm done we can be done now but yeah maybe we, maybe we can talk more about like the the creative aspect later but overall i'm really glad about record by all and, and and i hope people keep watching it and keep talking about how much they love it because it really like Something like I, I don't know if we get to talk about a lot is that like 
it does matter a lot. One, it makes us feel like really nice to like, hey, we showed you our soul. Uh, so thank you for saying that you liked it. But also like, it really does like help us, you know, get more seasons of shows or more support or, you know, that kind of stuff to hear people talking about stuff. So like it, I know like we ask a lot to like for people to like like stuff and comment on stuff and all that, but like it really does mean something. So uh, it's uh, it is appreciated. Carrie's right. Um, Pretty bad. Talking talk about shit that's not ours though. Japan sinking. Japan oh. sinks twenty twenty baby. I don't. Uh, as in twenty twenty couldn't get any worse. Worse. <laughs> I've. Uh, I've heard so many people talk about this, and I have no idea what it is. Josh, have you heard about literally, this? No. Literally, okay. it just came out on American Netflix like this past weekend or so. Ah, uh, uh, okay. So I, I watched it, and oof. All of it? Oof. Dang. Yeah, it's only oof. 10 episodes. Um, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, it is by the director who did uh, Devil Man Crybaby. Masaki, okay. ping pong, oh. the animation, and a few you others. You also, right? Ooh. So. I, I, I'm dumb and I didn't write it down before this. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. um, but yeah, like I hadn't heard about it until um, Alex Lee, who's one of the voice actors in it, posted about it on his Twitter. And I, I really enjoy his talents and his voice acting mm. work. Um, so I was like, hey, I watched, I'll watch this. I like, I like Devil Man. That was a cool anime. Um, it, and Paco had started watching it also, um, and he was like, Dun "Oh yeah, it's really good so far, but it's definitely heavy." Yeah, um, Dustin said the same it, thing. Watch it in bite-sized chunks, and uh, I did not do that. I couldn't stop watching. Honestly, <laughs> oh, uh, it's it dang. is definitely heavy, but it's very good. And can you can you give us weirdly, like a non-spoilery oh, like synopsis of it? I mean, if you couldn't judge by the title, yeah, <laughs> I kind of okay. Japan sinks, and it's about the story of this family that's like trying to escape this natural disaster, but it also gets into like, I don't, I don't know how to like say it, like kind of like the racial tensions in Japan or like prejudices and like the xenophobia. <laughs> it surprisingly gets like weirdly deep. Um, so I think it's like on top of the pandemic, um, it's somehow weirdly appropriate. Mm. Um, even though it is kind of like, it's very much a downer, especially in times like this. Right. Um, but I think it's very relevant. And I feel like everybody should watch it, despite it being so heavy. And it is a bit mm -hmm. graphic and intense. Um, mm. But yeah, I think it's one of those do, anime, like everybody has to watch at least once. Yeah. Do they, by graphic, do you mean like uh, mud flaps with like, <laughs> ladies okay, on them? Well, okay, so it's not... Devil Man, as in there's like weird titty monsters and like I'm, I'm graphic out. sex scenes. There's only <laughs> one sex scene, so it's not weird in that sense or graphic, but it's definitely okay. like, oh, you see people getting crushed or like dismembered and shit. Dang. Um, obviously, like in their anime style, so it's not sure. like that mm -hmm. visceral, but it's still yeah. pretty intense. And you just see like a ton of like human suffering, I guess. So, uh, it's, I mean, be warned oh, when you go into it. I've seen oh, the first episode of Attack on Titan, so I think I'm okay. <laughs> see, you see, I saw, saw the first episode. And I was like, oh man, that was fucked up. And then like by episode two or three, oh man, I didn't think they could top it, but pretty much in every episode oh. they do. Yeah. Oh no. It's pretty Damn. awful. Yeah. Ooh. Oh no. I will say I do. One aspect I liked of it, um, kind of related to the race thing, is that the family is like a mixed family. So like the father is oh. Japanese and the mother's Filipino. Oh, so, wild. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So it definitely like, and so their kids are mixed race. Um, so it definitely like explores themes with that and like living in year 2020 being like mixed race, et cetera. So, wow. That's cool. It's, it's That's quite, uh, quite I've, enjoyable. I haven't seen that topic like really touched on in, in yeah. anime a lot or at least the the I more it, mainstream stuff i watch usually yeah it's pretty yeah like i don't know i, I want to recommend it to you isa because i feel like you might like it more than brand new animal um, uh probably yeah i was gonna <laughs> but my is, first thought I, yeah <laughs> i feel like it handles it in a bit more mature way but it doesn't kind of like tiptoe around it or use like weird 
allegories, allegories. I guess. Like it's just yeah. like straight to the point. So, because my first thought is like, oh, this is the sound. The way you're talking about it definitely makes it sound like it's not racism light, like BNA. <laughs> yeah, kind of gotcha. Uh, or is is a uh, yeah in that in that vein, especially mm -hmm. once you mentioned it's like oh they're Filipino, it's just like one of course it's like oh, <laughs> <That's> yeah. <kind laughs> of, it's it's like it feels like it's genetically ingrained in me whenever I hear someone's the same race as me, I kind of just go like eh? <laughs> the yeah. exclamation point Animal Crossing um, <laughs> kind of reaction. See, it's funny because like as as a white British dude, like anytime people talk about white people, my reaction is to be more like don't. Don't, don't, <laughs> pretend to not see it. I don't I don't I don't want to be I'm sorry I I no. do not see it. yeah like I don't oh God, what did we do this time oh shit yeah. why it's do we keep fucking doing this it's interesting because it is from a Japanese perspective so yeah. it's like stuff we probably want to even think of but it's still like very relatable in a sense mm -hmm. so yeah, That's actually, cool. the moment you mentioned, yeah, like the other thing on top of the, you mentioning the, that they were Filipinos, actually, like, oh, if they're hitting on other, there are certain Japanese um, anime and media that I, I can like kind of see if they're, they're a bit more, I guess, woke than other yeah. <laughs> creations. Sure. Um, uh, in terms of like how open is their casting, quote unquote, or mm -hmm. what what mm. do what do their character designs look like, or et cetera, and the fact that this show is very openly aware that there is actually a sizable Filipino population in Japan, oh, not yeah, to mention there's like there's actually a sizable uh, Korean population in Japan. Funny enough, um, mm -hmm. uh, also Vietnamese, I think. As well, there's there's a lot of different I, non Japanese people in Japan, but it, it's kind of like America, where, or well, how do I put it? When you think of Japan and Japanese people, you don't think of those people. You think mm -hmm. of an Asian, East Asian person, similar to how when you think of an American, I think most of the time people think white. Um, yeah. So I, the fact that they're acknowledging it's not mm -hmm. that they're acknowledging that that person exists in Japan, and maybe they've even had like. Um, uh, interactions with other p other people f that are not Japanese in Japan is already mm -hmm. kind of like, hey, that sounds neat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's and they're not like half animal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I highly highly recommend. Cool. That's cool. That Josh, was my weekend. What's uh? What what was? How's your weekend? What have you been up to? Uh, mostly my weekend has been like mostly unconscious. Uh, as far as... <laughs> that's that's a good state to be in. <laughs> so. Well, mostly like I've uh, I've been working or I've been like, like I got like this health kick going on where I've just been like, Dude, hell I yeah. bought like a really nice bike a few years <gasps> ago and I should probably like start riding it way more. And I've been doing like hour long <gasps> bike rides, which are pretty much almost all uphill. And I just, <laughs> like, just tearing apart my legs and I'm like, okay, cool. And then I get back, I shower and I eat and I immediately don't remember what happens because I'm just like, what if I just lay down right and I'm just <laughs> dead for like the next like five hours and I wake up out of like a, like a just a exhausted stupor and I'm like, okay, I guess I gotta start working again. And then the cycle just repeats over and over again. Oh, no. um, other That's than the fucking dream. Yeah, that's like is... the best kind of sleep. When you're so <laughs> tired, you just fall asleep immediately. It's great, but also awful because I wake up and I try to stand up and I'm like, my legs do not operate correctly. So oh, I have to like, put like <laughs> ice packs and like, like tiger balm on my legs. And I'm just like, oh, no, this is the worst. <laughs> but it's, it's great though. Cause I, I feel better like health wise. Cause I realized that like the work from home thing was kind of sort of like, I'm sitting here working and then I'm like, I can just order food. And I just order yep. like all the, the worst shit in the world. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what I've been doing. Uh, as far as content and stuff like that, I've been taking in, um, I guess like the new anime season like rolled in. So I've been watching a lot of uh, all of that stuff. And then one of the things that I've been finding a guilty pleasure in is I've been watching a lot of VTubers, like a lot <gasps> of like, like Hololive is one of my favorite things in the world right now. Oh, it is. Now, hey, What's Josh, up? I don't, yes. I don't really don't want to correct people on the show. Um, yes. it, you did, you said, I think you said V when you meant to say you, you, you said VTuber. Yes. VTuber. But it's, it's YouTuber. <laughs> it's a different, <laughs> look, it's like, it's like a soft, it's like a hard V versus like a soft U. Um, oh, like Colt, right? <laughs> 
What what is a what's a VTuber? So a VTuber is somebody who goes on and has like a webcam, like you know what we're all doing right now. But then yeah. instead of a webcam, they have like a an avatar or a character that is either three D or two D, and Whoa. they just present content as they're playing games or this and that. And it's usually like a lot of Japanese or like a lot of Asian people doing it. There's some people in Indonesia, uh, some people in China doing it as well. Oh yeah, uh, isn't that one the is that like the AI one? Oh, Kazuna AI? Yeah, that's yeah. I think she's like one of the more popular ones. But um there's been people who've been trying to do like idol groups and stuff like that. So they'll they'll make like <laughs> like a really super awesome anime idol and then have that as a new VTuber and they'll they'll be they'll, they'll be part of like a like an idol group. But there is one group, uh I mentioned them Hollow Life, where this mm -hmm. man named Yagu, uh at the, I don't think the, I don't think this is his real name, I think it's like a pseudonym or something like that. Um he put together a group in the intent of making them like another idol group, but it's more just like a dumpster fire, like circus oh act. And it's the best thing I've ever seen. And I, I don't oh. mean dumpster fire in a bad thing. I mean, like it's the most hilarious stuff I've been watching. And like half of the time, like I put on the live stream, like, cause they'll usually be streaming like in the morning here and then I'll just be doing work mm. and I can't understand what they're doing, but like, I can see them having fun. And I'm just like, I like this. This is super nice. <laughs> and then, and then during the, the night, like after like I'm done riding my bike or and then I'm eating food, I see like the translated version of it and I'm like dying of laughter because oh my god, it is. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'll send you guys a video yes, of please. this later. Um, but the, it, the the video that I have in mind is Hollow Live in five minutes, and it, it it pretty much explains everything that you need to know about mm -hmm. what all of this is. And if you like it, deep dive into it. If you don't, I understand. I, I completely understand because holy oh. shit, it is a lot to take in. So but yeah, that's yep. you said later you watch a translated version. So like yes, this does some do they go back through or just like is the community do that or is it like is YouTube getting better at, at auto translating? Um, it's usually just like a lot of fans and stuff like that who take like awesome. choice clips and like have like highlights of like their streams and then will translate and um, it's all great because usually they'll take like the best parts of like a Minecraft stream oh, I see. or like some like a really really very cute anime esque girl who is like a dog girl like oh very yeah I've cute seen her dog girl uh, Corona yes. and then she's playing Doom and it's like the best thing ever she's like <laughs> chainsaw. Yeah! Like, yes, I love that. So that's that's been my guilty pleasure. That's what I've been doing. I didn't that... mention that because I literally downloaded Vroid this weekend, Vroid Studio, which is like oh. what a lot of them use to make their avatars or whatever. Oh. I, I was just curious to see like what it was capable of. Yeah, you know, it's a pretty nifty program. Like I wish it could do more, but if you're like wanting to get into like V tubing or like you're a uh, <laughs> like your avatar for whatever like it's a fun little program okay you heard it here first if we make it if this show lasts a year <laughs> our one year anniversary episode will be will be like our anime idol episode like i Whoa. looked up how to like um do it so that your webcam picks up your motions it's not that hard it's kind of crazy I, oh my god like, how accessible really... it is I'm really into this I'll, I'll idea. drop links um, as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you, you like if y'all can just keep us afloat for oh my God. four like forty something more weeks. <laughs> oh I'll my fucking, God! Nah, nah, I'll do it all. I don't care. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, we have so many different personas. We've got the furries. We got the anime VTubers. Oh, yeah. I'll do it all. I'm ready. I'm so ready. You I think just listed were... everybody that matters. So yeah. <laughs> We're good. That's how we solve world peace. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to I, your, your no, important no, thing with my a, dumb thing. There's um, another program that I think they used to is Live 2D. Um, oh, yeah, really... that's like a 2D orientated one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think that is the one that I think a lot of um, that, that community is yeah. uh, uses. Um, I only know this because I had a friend who recently commissioned me to do something because his um, his group they're trying to test something and they're like, hey, can you just draw this for me? It's so much easier if someone else like put, takes apart the assets. And I'm like, oh yeah, I do this for work. This is easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, I ended up learning kind of like how not how it worked, but just like being familiar with the program. And I was just like, 
this is wild this yeah. is well, doesn't do. uh adobe's like character animator have something like that yes yeah they're trying oh. that it's literally called character animator too yeah yeah hey isa if you just want to go into the x-ray and vav files and find like the dragon face asset <laughs> and just like slide it my way maybe i can try something out <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to baggy i actually really like this idea <laughs> but i mean josh that's, that's like a good thing though and like i think something that could be kind of interesting to talk about is like what is everybody's like go to like background thing to put on or watch or listen oh, to because like i i remember like when i was compositing like more like or at all but like full-time like i i could kind of watch anything like it was a lot easier to watch and listen to content but like you know now for me it's you know if if it has dialogue in it or lyrics like it's a little just just too distracting so i've been going for like all the lo-fi i found a i discovered a upbeat lo-fi i recently, saw which is made me very happy it's just it's it's just lo-fi lo it's just like not <laughs> hi-fi yeah it's just like <laughs> not uh it doesn't always sound depressing yeah um but yeah like what, what does everybody's go to like just and, and like yeah it's like the the point you called out josh is like oh well you can't even understand what they're saying so you don't focus on it as much like that is super helpful. Like, do, do y'all have other like go to like? Let me just throw this on in the background. Aaron, I know Aaron has a lot. If only because we she shares. Um, oh God, I her passions like, watch, with me. <laughs> yeah, I'll just watch whatever the fuck I can find in the background. Like sometimes yeah. YouTube just starts recommending me stuff, and I'll just go down a rabbit hole. Um, my go to, at least in the past, not so much recently, has been like. Um, full gameplays of like old horror video games uh, mm. especially ones i haven't played so i've seen like people play like siren or like the old silent hill games stuff like that mm. cory um, in the house <laughs> oh god don't say his name <laughs> it's, it's actually a, i mean even the title sounds kind of scary <laughs> this summer cory in the house <laughs> He's in the house, the but the question is, house, do you want him there? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, otherwise, I don't know, like, lately I've been watching, like, people put together garage kits of, like, anime figures. Oh, yeah. Um, I watch, like, sculptors, oh, God, painters, like, literally anything. It doesn't, yeah. like, even if they're talking or not, like, I'll we'll watch it. I think, I think I'm about to buy, like, a third monitor at home just, just to so i can have like my constant background thing going because mm -hmm. i see that all the time and i miss yeah. like even if it's muted just having like anime running in the background like mm -hmm. i haven't been able to do that in a while yeah oh Aww. god that reminds me of like going down the rabbit hole because sometimes like before this whole vtuber thing um i would find random videos that like like nobody ever in their right mind would watch but it's like one of those things where youtube has a weird algorithm where they'll go like oh. you want to watch this and i go like I do want to watch this. And the next I, thing I you guess, know, I'm yeah. watching four hours of carpet cleaning videos for oh, no it's so reason. Satisfying. <laughs> yeah, it's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. I, I, I had that. It. I had that happen recently. Where like I, I don't remember why it came up, but like I watched a video that was like somebody. Oh no, I was like, I I was like, there's a part. I I had a. Not gonna go into my my mental stuff right now, but like I was like, last week I had this thought of like. What if I just like got like lived in a van? Oh yeah, and like that I'll was like what I did now. Videos too. <laughs> yeah, so like I watched like one video that was like, "How much does it cost to live in a van?" And oh then, my like, god! Now my like page is just like thirty five hundred dollar van build, and I'm just yeah. like, "Don't do it, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking do it." You I'll watch a lot of like tiny house tours too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Aaron and I, uh, or Aaron and I, we, I, sh I shared the tiny house, um, constructions with Aaron a lot. Yep. I just, it would be nice. I don't know. It would be nice. It might be nice. Um, I'm trying to think, I, it's, it sucks because I think I, I used to watch more stuff in the background and now I kind of am like, oh no, I tend to put a lot of my full focus into a lot of the work that I'm doing lately, if only because I think it needs some of my most of my attention. But I definitely go down the YouTube essay rabbit hole. 
and mm, i yeah. love me i love me some youtube essayists um long format Those long are format oh yeah the mm -hmm. the kinds that are like 40 to 30 to 40 minutes are like oh chef's kiss like wonderful i could leave this on for days yeah um i did find a couple um recently melina pendulum and y yara zade and lady knight and the brave um those are my favorite new youtube essayists <laughs> I, I say new Those... but they've probably been around for a while mm -hmm. those also all sound like amazing like band names <laughs> they do <laughs> what was the last one lady knight and the brave that Come is on. a band name <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just make it the Braves. The and Braves. Like set. I think that is. Yeah. A, no, there's a band called the Bravery. Oh. That sounds. So, that sounds like a there band. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Band Not far off. But yeah, I um, I really like that. I just make an event out of whenever they have a new video. I'm just like, oh, mm -hmm. and then I just sit and watch rather than work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I I definitely have that too. Where like I I've noticed like lately it's a lot more like I'm at my computer all day, but I'm in a lot of meetings, and then I it's like okay, I have one hour to do this thing. Well, it's going to take like my full concentration for an hour. So I can't really like pay attention to anything else, <laughs> but I want to well, click some I think I'm just going to force myself to, <laughs> I don't know. I'd be good. I, Josh, everything you're describing earlier about like, just kind of like honing in on, like, I think I need to do that. Like I, you know, nothing's ever like this year has just been a fucking dumpster fire and yeah. i just i kind of want to just like check out for a little bit mm -hmm. and just work and play video games and i want to i want to ride my bike that's and a, not get distracted by twitter that's a great that's a great it's, feeling. it's pretty great i mean you do uh, you like a avoid absorbing some of the world around you um like what was it like the ubisoft thing happened like all, all the gaming stuff happened like last week or something like that i completely missed all of it yeah like so yeah. It's, sometimes you might miss some of that but you also miss the bad shit too which is like some <laughs> you, you, yeah. right now especially with the world in 2020 is like everything's on fucking fire and yeah. like you can be over stimulused like or stimulized like whatever the word is whatever um, you want it to be man yeah <laughs> Um, you can be overstimulated. There you go. Um, mm. Very, very, very easily. And I think sometimes just literally just like turning everything off and then taking time for yourself to do something that you want to do helps out so much. It helps clear your mind. It helps reground you to earth and makes you go, okay, I can, I can approach the next day or week or whatever, or even like the next hour, like whatever it takes. It's just like that stuff helps out so much. So allow yourself I happiness. Oh, he said it. Yeah. He said it. It's like, Segway. Segway. <laughs> so, yeah, in our, I don't. I actually don't even. I think it was Issa. I don't even. It was me. It, but, okay, yeah. It's just. Do you allow happiness? Is your topic sheet. Um, what does this mean? Issa, do you allow happiness? There's so there's a um a fun conversation between Josh Flanagan and, and me. Um, he's been asking for updates every time. Uh, every every so often on recorded by RSL cuz he uh, is also just as big of a cheerleader for it. Uh, shout out to our other favorite Jay Jordan Swears. Uh, I called yeah. him out in the <laughs> I called him out in the um, Rooster Teeth blog for being a big supporter of it ever since I told him about the idea. Um, in a similar vein Josh Flanagan is always asking like, "Hey, so are there any updates? Like what what's A lot of good Js. A lot of good Js. There some of our favorite Js, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> um Josh, Josh, Jordan, Josh Jordan. Jesus. G <laughs> That's a good one. Can't for can't forget about JC. <laughs> JC. Oh, oh. <laughs> and um there it was like the day or two before premiere and he's like so are you excited about your premiere and i go i don't know i think i'm more on the trepidatious side i don't allow myself to feel happiness josh <laughs> it was oh, like no. a joke and he went with the bit since that is his personality um <laughs> he'll, he'll just kind of like go into the bit until there's nothing left um and he'll just be like that's his life you signed up for he said you understand being a true artist and we're kind of just like sending each other these like um lord of the rings gifts i think <laughs> um <laughs> but after that it was it was kind of a thing that i i ended up kind of just like taking or saying a lot after because i think the thing that i think about is how uh as I, as I think most of us are familiar with anxiety and the idea of kind of like staring at the future, 
um, especially with how uncertain it is, it's always kind of this question of like, or this feeling of, I feel like there's more work to be done. I, I, there's mm -hmm. what is the celebration? But then there's the other side of it where it's just like a lot of people are saying, if you just just allow yourself like the one thing, and then you can sell, and then you can continue worrying later. And it's just like okay, and I don't know if I have allowed myself that yet. You know, it's like oh, it's a big success, but did I do anything about it? I told my SO today. Or was it yesterday or today? I was just like, I'm gonna allow myself to drink one soda today. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa <laughs> that's, party that's, time. That's Whoa. my uh, that's my happiness. That'll be my celebration. And fun fact, I didn't get the soda because it was two dollars, and I didn't want $2? to spend two dollars. Two dollars. Whoa! <laughs> so that's Bullshit. that's my headspace. I uh, I don't know. In that vein of like, I, do you guys um feel the same way when it comes to like certain things happening? Do you feel like you kind of just downplay a lot of your successes? I, I mean, I don't know if I've I- I've never really thought about it. <laughs> I don't want to get too real, yeah. I don't yeah. know if I've like allowed myself to be happy ever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, like every once in a while, like I feel like probably the moment I feel the 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 most happiness like that would probably be like after like a panel or something like mm -hmm. rtx mm -hmm. when it's like i i think honestly the the one time that i can think that i really let myself be like for a moment like okay this went okay and like felt good about it um like from a personal level not like from a quality level was um when we showed off the Ruby uh, Volume Four trailer at RTX, where we oh. like had the characters in Maya for the first time and did like more cel shaded lighting, that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and like I, I felt like that was like the that was one of the first things that like uh, after Moni, like it was like one of the first things like decisions that I made for the show, mm -hmm. and I was just like I I don't even think I realized how nervous I was um until uh when people started clapping after the trailer i just started crying because oh. like i was just like oh my god like i'm so like relieved and i just like that was one of the few times i was like okay i didn't fuck this up i didn't fuck this up oh. um but yeah i don't i don't know if i ever like let my just be like hey things are actually going okay i need to do that more, <laughs> huh? yeah that'd probably be a good idea <laughs> yeah. it's hard but it's because it's like there's always like cool that thing's done okay but here's this next thing yeah mm -hmm. it's hard to be like someone's outside it's hard to be like oh yeah i did a thing that's cool yeah definitely i, don't I, don't know. Know I always know feel like, like oh sorry okay oh, no, no no you're good you're good i was gonna say i don't know if it like if it just so happens that most creatives like end up feeling this way or like a lot of them anyways like mm -hmm. not to feel too proud of your own work or like mm -hmm. just over analyzing all the mistakes that probably aren't even there I don't know mm. if it's just like, I feel like it's a very common thing, but I don't know if that's just me like imagining that. It seems pretty common. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, I don't know which came first. Like, are we drawn to this field because we are like this or mm -hmm. are we like this because we're in this field? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's that's a question. Yeah. yeah. yeah I always <laughs> wonder like how true is the, um, not the starving artist, what's the word? The tr like the the tragic oh, artist yeah what? the tragic artist yeah I, like, I feel like that's kind of it like how true that is like i don't know it's probably a discussion for another week but there's always like this idea that artists are like all artists are always suffering and if you're not suffering you can't make good art it's yeah. like how true is that or is that just some mm -hmm. like bullshit we're telling ourselves mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. like have right. a reason to keep creating i don't know i don't know i think i think it's bullshit yeah i i, I would feel like i i don't want to say like it's not that like i'm not happy i want to yeah, clarify yeah. too like it's not that, like i'm not happy it's just like i don't i don't stop and like think of accomplishments very often but like mm -hmm. i definitely uh, i i think the stuff that i do think that like i've done that is the the stuff that i've liked the most that i've ever done is stuff that i made in like a happier place yeah mm -hmm. that's, that's um, fair but maybe that's because i was happier the whole time you make me happy, Carrie. Oh, you. Oh, make me happy. Oh, I, I definitely, I, I, uh, it, you know, I, I don't know how much you've ever felt this too, but like, I find myself, uh, 
like going out of my way like i i get more um happiness and, and joy from seeing not like the the team like yeah you know when when th there's always a moment like you know when animation finish like wraps for the season or like when the disc finally ships or you know the that fight scene that you know everybody worked on really hard and was like a crazy asset headache but it worked out and like looked really cool like i i feel happier for other people than i do myself usually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or like when i have a, a very close friend launch a show last monday you know like <laughs> That brings me <laughs> happiness. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel that. I think there's a... I, I feel that because I think there's this interesting... Uh, I, want, I want to say dichotomy of, like, I, I feel we are all introverts, but for some reason we are in an in industry where we have to work with other people. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? Like how it's it's not always. It means we're all it... lying. <laughs> <laughs> it means we're all constantly lying, and we'd all rather be alone. <laughs> That's not what it means. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> I definitely think there's a value that even though we tend to like be more in ourselves, mm -hmm. we also find a lot of value being with other people as well and we're not gonna we're not lying about that <laughs> yeah uh so i true. feel you carrie in that like oh man i i went into this uh industry in animation to work with other people not really to mm -hmm. work on myself mm -hmm. um so sometimes when the accomplishment seems so centralized or if i'm supposed to feel about it it's like oh well it's not it's not always me and uh there i think there's um a time where you have to take that personal accomplishment for sure like i'm where i need to work on it Ugh. but also yeah. i think the appreciation and the gratitude always comes more so in the group setting of like oh well everyone else did a great great job yeah <laughs> and that's no, how i'll that. that's how i'll try to how i'll try to Mm, what's the word reconcile with it and then eventually i'll get to a oh uh, i feel good about myself <laughs> i feel like it's all phases too it's like yeah. you'll you'll be feeling good about something and then there's like that one thing that happens in the world or that one comment that somebody leaves on a video that you're just like oh now i hate everything again Uh oh <laughs> uh -oh. and then you're then you you know yeah you do check out for a while um and then something brings you back in mm -hmm. um that's why I think I'm just I'm realizing I'm, I'm in that phase of like, oh, I think I just need to disconnect. Yeah, yeah. that's fair. But yeah. I'll still have this show and that's what matters. Because <laughs> I like matter, talking to y'all. Yeah, I think the um, you said like, oh, getting a nasty comment sometimes like takes you out of it and like mm. knocks you down a few pegs. For me, I don't like one way. Cause I mean, that happens to me too, like definitely sucks. Um, but one way I'm trying to help better cope with it, if I see a comment like that, I'll kind of take it to heart kind of, but in a way that I'm like, okay, well, I know maybe I fucked up this time according to this person, but I'll know better for next time and I'll try to better mm. myself or my craft so I can stick it to that person um, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and like move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a good way to look at it. Yeah. 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 Just another way of coping. Mm -hmm. I feel that like that's what 2020 is turning into. It's like yeah. how to cope with things. Yeah. How to speaking, speak it to the man. <laughs> speaking of coping, I'm going to talk about, can I talk about video game? Yeah. Okay. Can I talk about video game that's been helping me cope? Oh, yeah. Yes. Always. It's a, uh, um, this is a game. It's actually been out for a very long time. Like, I think like four or five years. Um, but yeah, it just came to the, well, I mean, in, in video game, well, but it <laughs> just came out on the switch. It just came out on the switch. Uh, okay, it's okay. called a uh, cross code. Ooh. Um, and it's basically the way I would describe it is sword art online meets, oh. uh, blue people avatar. Uh? Um, oh. and a little bit of meets other avatar as well. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> But you're the basically like, and I, I will say like, I'm, I think this is like a 30 to like 50 hour game. Oh shit. Um, I'm Definitely. only like five hours in, so I, I don't know. I don't think I could possibly spoil anything major, but, um, you basically, you start out, uh, you're, you're actually, you don't even notice at first. Like you start out and you're just like 
a lot of these like weird things about like your your brother looks like he's about to die but he's like you know his last words are like i'm doing this to to free you and all the kind of stuff and then you wake up as an mmo player oh, in a oh, game oh shit oh. and you find mm-hmm. out that you're in this world where um you know there's like another i can't i don't know if it's a planet or what it is exactly but uh, i think i think it's what it is and uh there's people living there but there's also people who are playing a game that are like beaming their consciousness to an avatar to to be in that world oh. um and you are they kind of make it seem like you were like involved in like you know some like not not you yourself necessarily but like involved in some like wrongdoings or some like illegal things or some shady people and now you're stuck uh with amnesia and you can't talk and you're oh, like no. a level one player again uh but the whole thing feels like this like simulated mmo where like you you meet somebody who like just went to the tutorial level and like they want to party up with you and then like they'll show up in your party and you join their friends guild and all this like it it feels like a an mmo but it's a single player game mm. uh it's really fun um it's a uh, yeah the it, it's like the art style is very like chrono trigger yeah. um like snes uh kind of style jo- josh you said you you had played it or you heard about it before i i had heard about it it's been in my steam wish list for probably about the last couple of years because i've been nice. like I've yeah I added this uh it looks like November 26th of 2016 to my steam list damn and, yeah <laughs> yeah so it's been there for a minute I just like haven't gotten around to playing it because there's been everything else in the world to play but every <laughs> single little promotional video and and screenshot that I've seen seems so varied from the last one that you can tell yeah. that it's like it leads you on a saga and it looks Ooh. like it's like like that good shit and then now that it's on <laughs> Now that it's on uh, Nintendo Switch, I might, I still might buy it on Steam, probably because I I'm usually here That's anyway fine. playing games. But like also like if I just want to like go out or sit in my bed and play games because I you know just be a lazy piece of shit and play games in the bed. But whatever, um, I can do that too. Um, but For like sure. every time I see this game, I'm like I need to get this game. You know what? Hold on. Uh, <gasps> He's sorry, getting it now. I add to cart, purchase for self, making that decision right now. Agree to turn live. <laughs> this just in <laughs> oh god <laughs> Terry, now he's going to return that game because he needs that money to buy a new mic i was gonna say good thing he didn't buy that recorder earlier oh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i definitely buying this game is better than buying the recorder that's probably yeah there i will say if you're gonna and this is like as of this recording if you're gonna buy it on the switch it's a little buggy not bad and i think they already have a patch for it like it, it you you get like some frame drops here and there um the the menu loads a little slow and i've caught i have one thing where there's like an entire like subsection of a menu i can't get to anymore or it crashes Uh-oh. my game oh shoot. but it's not an important <laughs> subsection um not yet <laughs> but i was so something i want to double check this something that i i saw and i i think i think this game's made in html5 it is written entirely in html5 what? yeah that is um, true it's which is like bonkers to me because this it um like i felt this way i feel this way about i feel like indie games more than i do triple a games where the movement in this game feels very good Mm -hmm. and i feel like i feel like that happens more often or not like hyperlight drifter or hollow knight yeah like because it's a smaller team that is like hyper fixated right versus like a triple a game which is like very good but also like every decision you know everything has to be run through like 30 people and touches that's a lot right, of hands yeah. mm-hmm. and it's it's harder to like iterate i feel like uh that's all bullshit i'm making up because i don't know how to make video games but um <laughs> it it feels very good and the fact that they got that from html5 just seems like crazy oh, to me oh my gosh um, so yeah that's that's true as well that the <gasps> html5 thing and here's the thing you can download the demo on steam right now but you can just also go to the cross i think it's the cross code website and you can just play it straight off your browser like the demo what? yeah you can, That's you, crazy. you can go play oh, wow. yeah, you're right right now this. and yeah. get a feel for the game because I, I, yeah. I i'm just remembering i did this i think it was like in the middle of like a lunch meeting i was just like let's just try it out and i was like oh my god this is great and then i didn't buy it until like literally right now yeah. but it still oh. works super super well like not Carrie, sponsored that, it's, not it's also blowing my mind not sponsored it is also yeah. blowing my mind html cross.code.com 
Is that true? Um, yeah. I, I, just, I just I just went to go check. Oh. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It says play the demo, and it says Steam, and it just says web version. Yep. Whoa. Um, but it's a uh, in terms of like play style, it's a uh, it's it's a genre. I it's 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 very Zelda. Yes. Um, oh, perfect. Like it has a lot of puzzle solving, which I fucking love. Mm -hmm. But and the thing I love, and I don't want to, I don't want to detract from something else. There's a game that came out of Switch a little while ago. Uh, I'm sure it's on Switch too. Uh, uh, oh, it's called a uh, Blossom Tales. Oh yeah. Um, Blossom Tales: The Sleeping King. Mm -hmm. I really love that game. I played it on Switch. It looks like it's on Steam too. I loved it, and it it was, it was a Zelda clone. I don't, I don't mean that in a negative way. Mm -hmm. It just like very clearly was inspired by mm -hmm. like yeah. Link to the Past. And other 2D Zelda games, um, but it definitely put its own spin on things, and and it it felt you know like an homage to that. This this feels like it was inspired by Zelda, but is not trying to do exactly what Zelda did. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're using it as an ingredient, which I like a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a uh, yeah. I'm just a sucker for like fucking 2D, uh, like platformer puzzle. Yeah kind of challenging games man people um, are so smart <laughs> right and then that's why i'm like i am a piece of shit <laughs> no, they, okay. they made no, a cool Carrie. game in html5 <laughs> what the fuck all right no. next season of ruby we're making it in html5, HTML5. <laughs> you heard it here first no. do -do 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 -do. html6 yeah, okay. yeah we'll we'll beta test html6 <laughs> um it uh it only uh, the only downside is it is we're spo we're gonna be sponsored by Microsoft, so we do have to. <laughs> we can uh... only use uh, the 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 Edge browser, but I mean. Everyone, please scream inside your heart. <laughs> it is it is a clean experience, you know. Wow, that's so it's cool. Not, it's not. So yeah, I would not highly. The Microsoft Edge. <laughs> no, not Microsoft Edge. I would highly not recommend Microsoft. that game, and uh, that is the the topic that I've brought this week. Yeah. Um well I think that about wraps it up. Yeah. For this episode. Are we done? Um, did we do it? We I did the, I feel like the the takeaway for me is I have to exercise. <laughs> I yeah. Yeah. So can we I all can go, allow myself happiness. Can we all go bike riding together? I'll have to get a bike first, but sure. Yeah, I have to get yeah. a bike. <laughs> a bike. Or we can yeah. all ride Josh's bike. Yeah. <gasps> I don't know about that, but okay. We'll just stack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just yeah, like, like on shoulders. Yeah. Well, exactly. we'll, we'll have some extras. <laughs> add some extras onto Josh's bike. He'll have like a side, a side, yeah. a side. Oh, that would be so cool. Uh, can we can like stack up like a diamond, like so there's like a foot here on each shoulder, and then you yeah. 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 Work on our cores. Exactly. Yeah. Balance. We're absolutely oh, exercising. Our traps. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's a muscle. That's trapezular. I don't know. Trapezular. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Right? Trapezoid. No, yeah, that one. Ah, uh, that, that is one also too. the shape. Yeah, I y'all gonna work on your trapezular? <laughs> oh, I'm doing it right my, now. My trapezular is just like I have like one kind of like muscle that runs diagonally in my back. Should I have that looked at? <laughs> <laughs> it keeps getting bigger. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid now. It talks. <laughs> your, does your trapezial talk to you? Because mine yeah, talks to me. That's normal. Don't worry about it. Okay, good. Okay. Woo. Carrie, you um, make me happy. <laughs> aw, thank you all so much for joining us. Aaron, Josh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and yeah, please go watch Recorded by Arizal. Um, uh, I always say Arizal and not Arizal. Um, please go watch Recorded by Arizal and uh, please. Uh, continue to watch i have notes we appreciate it and share all these things with everybody Thank and you. find find your happiness yeah, uh, and it. ride a bike and a wear bike. doom guy be josh is basically kind of be josh. oh yeah that's that's a great one yeah that's our new slogan be josh, be josh. <laughs> <laughs> bye everyone oh, no.